So I'm talking to John Solomon from Multisorb Technologies and uh, John, tell me what you're doing here today. Multisorb Technologies is a company that works in active packaging. And what I mean by active packaging is we control the atmosphere on the inside of the package. Mm -hmm. We do that by eliminating the oxygen. So the oxygen is eliminated out of the package. We stop the oxidation of the flavor profiles, mm -hmm. the color retention, mm -hmm. we stop the, uh, we can maintain texture, we stop mold from growing inside of the package, we also control the rancidity of the shortenings, and we can help the uh, vitamins last longer by stopping the oxidation of the vitamin A's, B's, and C's inside of your product. And so how does this work? It typically works by putting a sachet inside of your product, inside of the product next to the food. Mm -hmm. All the raw materials are food grade, mm -hmm. film and ink are food grade. And you put this product inside of your package and it will absorb all of the oxygen out of the package and out of your product as well. Mm -hmm. Thus stopping the oxidation uh, aspects of reactions between your product and the raw materials that it's made with. So it's, so it's just a bit like the desiccant things they used to get in with, or you're probably still doing electronics packs and what have you. It's exactly what it does. All the, a desiccant removes moisture. The oxygen scavengers remove oxygen. Oh, very good. So, we, and we have three items that we're really talking about uh, at this show. Number one is uh, the use of oxygen scavengers and organic products. Mm -hmm. And most organic products are trying to take the preservatives out and they're trying to improve the flavor and extend the shelf life. Yep. If you stop the oxidation of those products, you can eliminate the preservatives and extend the shelf life. Mm -hmm. So a lot of organic products are finding that if they want to expand outside of the normal mom and pop area and want to go into the big distribution chains, they have to have much longer shelf life than the typical five to seven days that they normally have. They have to get out to 30 days, 60 days in order to get into the big chains. And that's where our product comes in. You can put it inside of an organic product. Since it's all food grade raw materials, it's not listed as an ingredient. It's just sitting in the package. It can be used with an organic product and you can still say it's organic. It yes. stops the oxidation. Mm -hmm. Along those same lines, the second item that we're doing is we're looking at a clean label application, which companies that are not organic mm -hmm. but want to clean up their label a little bit, maybe they don't want to put as many preservatives in there, or they don't want to have to add ascorbic acid or something to protect the vitamin C in their product, they want to put fewer ingredients and they want to extend the shelf life, they can use an oxygen absorber, which will, again, stop the oxygen from reacting with the fats and oils and extends its trans shelf life. Trans fats becoming a very big issue in almost all markets of food in the world. When you eliminate the trans fat, the sh shelf life of the product will get shorter. And so if you put an oxygen scavenger in there, you can switch to the cis fats, which are less stable, but by putting a scavenger in there, you can actually attain the same shelf life as you can with a trans fat. Mm -hmm. So it's a very good product to use in someone trying to clean up their label. Mm -hmm. uh, lastly, what we're introducing here is a product that is used in case-ready meat. Mm -hmm. By case-ready is fresh sliced meat. It's ready to go into the, into, the, into the meat case. And we use a master pack for that. By lowering the oxygen inside of the fresh meat, you stop the oxygen reaction with the fats and oils. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, you can extend the shelf life up to about 28 days in a master pack. So you will have fewer deliveries from the store, so you can cut down some of the transportation costs associated with the meat, and you're going to get a better tasting meat because the meat has not oxidized, and you're going to have a lower bacterial count because bacteria will not grow in low oxygen. It, it's not going to stop the bacterial growth, but it's not going to increase during the shelf life period. So those are the three products. It's, it's Fresh Packs and Fresh Pack CR are the products that we're introducing at the show. Yep. And uh, where, the, where, where is it manufactured? Uh, all of these products are manufactured in the U.S. However, we do have distribution out of Telford uh, in the U.K. Mm -hmm. through a distribution center that we have set up over here. And we also have sales available through uh, agents that work for Multisorb. I mean, we're, we're a wholly owned company in the U.K. It's Multisorb Limited uh, in the U.K., and we have people that work over here and call on accounts and work through the distribution and everything in the U.K. What about other countries, though, for example, uh, Germany? We have people over in Germany. We have the, It's the same guys out of the U.K., but they travel through to the E.U. over in Europe, Germany, France, Italy, yeah. the Netherlands, wherever the products are needed. And the other in Central no, Europe? No, no. Poland? Yes, we do cover the Polish area, the Poland area also. <laughs> yeah. now, not being from the, uh, the uh, Europe, I 
not familiar with all of the companies. Yeah, certainly, certainly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, uh, very good. And um, what? How, how? In the U.S., how many uh, would you say is a percentage uh, of uh, how much food is, is as a percentage has this type of technology you know, added seeing, to it? We're seeing, we're noticing over the U.S. a lot of companies are having to change their distribution centers. Mm -hmm. They're having to have really long distribution centers, but they still want a fresh product. So we're seeing a huge uptake in, in the use of oxygen scavengers. In the last three years, we've seen it probably double in the last three years and expecting it to double again next year. And that's, you know, and that's on average of maybe going from five to ten million to maybe twenty million dollars worth of sales in this particular application. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, but largely you'd say, it's, is, it, is it something that's just for the, the small producers who want to start uh, start to expand their business from selling it, uh, producing tomatoes and then selling it on the market to, to uh, it's, it's producing tomatoes and then selling it to the supermarkets? You know, that, that's, that's, that's an interesting question. Actually, what we're seeing is we're seeing a lot of the really major producers of, of, of big products who are trying to consolidate some of their manufacturing areas into fewer manufacturing areas mm -hmm. using this technology. The smaller companies are using it to expand, but the larger companies are also using it to expand as well by having to have fewer manufacturing facilities, but still have a have a fresh tasting product. If they make it in one location, they can ship it halfway across Europe and still have a fresh tasting product in the other location. Okay. Oh, that's very good, and uh, thank you. You're welcome.